For years now, honeybees in the U.S. have been dying, and it seemed to be a mystery as to what was killing them. Well, the EPA has finally conceded that a very widely used pesticide could be the reason for these honeybees dying. Now, they released a report, and according to Mother Jones, the report card was so dire that the EPA could potentially take action to restrict or limit the use of the chemical by the end of this year. Now, the chemicals wow. in question are referred to as neonicotinoids, oh. and there are five different types, and one specific type was found to be uh, the killer of bees uh, under this EPA report, okay, or the reason for all these bees dying. So tens of millions of acres of farmland are treated with neonics every year and the health of the US honeybee hives continues to be dismal. Now reviewing dozens of studies from independent and industry funded researchers, the B EPA's risk assessment team established that when bees encounter these pesticides at levels above 25 parts per billion, a common level for neonics in farm fields, they suffer harm. These effects include decreases in pollinators as well as less honey produced. So what happens is there are certain um, you know, agricultural like fields and crops where we use these pesticides, specifically uh, soybeans, cotton, and there was one more, citrus. And so you use these uh, pesticides and it ends up in the pollen of, you know, the fruit, the flowers, and the, pea, the peas, the bees uh, consume that pollen and then it leads to them either becoming ill or just dying off Yeah, completely. it's actually shuts down nervous systems. Yes, yes. It it's pesticides. It's pesticides. Of, yeah. of bugs. I mean, it's an insecticide. And so it's exactly. funny because you're reading the article and they were like, insecticides and um, affect bees. And you're like, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> that's a crazy, freaking insecticide. Right? No, but that's Holy a, shit. That's a testament to how corrupt everything in this country is right now. Because the EPA could not just admit to this, could not concede to it. Oh, yeah, well, now, colony there... collapse disorder is like everyone's flipping out yes. because we just have honeybees disappearing at a rate. It's I think the honeybee population in the U.S. is now less than half of what it was at the end of World War II. Yeah. And it, and, the, and one in three bites of food that we eat originates from bees, it's, pollinate. No, I mean, this it's, is a huge It's like issue. terrifying, like we're all going to die. This is a huge issue. Just it's really so you know. gonna it's gonna impact our food. It, we already have limited resources as, as it is, and this is gonna make it worse. Now, the two companies that um, make these chemicals include Syngenta and Bayer. I'm unclear as to how much political sway they have, but I'm guessing quite a bit if it took the EPA this long to concede that these pesticides have a, a, an impact, a negative impact on these bees. And then even even like I think the quote said, the EPA it, it's gonna get to the point. It's getting so horrible. They may have to take action. I know. We've, yeah, I know. We and they might take action. This long, insufferable process to come up with this, oh. like, conclusion that everybody already knew, right? Yes. I mean, of course, if you put the insecticide all over the frickin' flower, and then it's going to be in the pollen, too. Like, exactly. I, I mean, I'm not a... A motherfucking scientist, and I am figuring this shit out really quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that was the suspicion from the get-go. But again, the government was very resistant to that criticism. Right. They were resistant to actually investigating it. And as I mentioned, there are five different types of these pesticides. So far, they've only really done in-depth studies into one of them, and they found a positive, uh, you know, causal relation. But uh, yes, we've all known this about. Isn't yeah, that... we knew this lesson with DDT, right? Yes. Um, with with birds yeah. and the effect that it's still having on, on raptor populations. And I mean, it's uh, Silent Spring, Rachel Carson. Like, we know this. We freaking know this. All environmentalists know this. And I read this story, and I literally was like, oh, great. Is it freaking Groundhog Day right. at yeah. the EPA? But then but... The, the, the response could be, so what do we do? We need our. Uh, insecticides or pesticides, we need to get rid of the, the, the problem when we grow our crops because you guys are buying it. This is what feeds everyone, or he said cotton as well. Cotton. So in doing this, the problem then is going to be what do you want us to do? Mm -hmm. Stop? <laughs> you know, because then well, we have to find an alternative solution. Yeah. Again, we're lazy. We're Come so up with lazy. something else. Yeah. You know, there's another way, uh, there has to be another way to do it. We can't, we can't keep destroying the environment and then putting our hands in the air and saying, like, I don't know, well, it, it's too difficult to find a different solution. So we let's just, just keep doing what we're doing. Same yeah, you hope necessity. Forms of energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same way. It's like, well, gas and, and, you know, fuel has been the way we've always done it. What do you want us to do? Research and find something else? Yeah. What, go electric? Go any kind of power? We, we don't want to do it because we're too good for that. I don't know. God forbid we create jobs around innovation. I know. It'd be crazy. You know? Like we're, not, an, we're, not, we're not about that life anymore.